Okay, the next section of activity three involves adding a monthly fitness test. This is going to have a form which allows you to enter in the details for a monthly fitness test. This being the unique identification key, the month of the test, and possibly also the year, and any other details that might be required. So this is going to be an append query to add this information into the monthly fitness test table. But then there is also a second append query, which basically has to go and create blank records for every exercise for every student to enter their results. And that goes in the monthly fitness test results table. So if we go and have a look at the database, what we have here, so we look at where we are to start with, we've got our monthly fitness tests. So at the moment we've got seven of these in here. Reminder that that first one's just a duplicate due to the error in the original data that was created for this practice example. So what we want to do is basically add in a new test and append it in onto here. So effectively we need to find out the ID, generally add one onto it, and then increment it and add that information on. What we also need to do is then once that has been added on, go and create a whole bunch of new entries into this table. And what we need to know is the amount of number of entries are going to be the number of students, which in that case was 3, times the number of exercises, which is in this case is 7. So there should be 21 new fitness test results because each student needs 7 separate exercises for each month that is added. So that outlines you know, the overall parts of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to call that video you know, quits at this point, and then the next video will go start with us creating the actual form.